All right, this is where we're gonna use Movavi Video Editor Plus to do this chroma key right now. So right now I'm gonna grab the files. I did use my green screen already and I got some pictures. So we're gonna use these pictures right now to put on the bottom level. We're gonna open these and these are gonna be the pictures that are gonna be behind the green screen. So I wanna extend them so they could be longer so we could uh, talk a little bit here as it's going so all you do is grab the picture and you extend the picture whatever is going to be in the background or you want in the background that's all I'm doing right here I'm limited to 10 minutes on screen recording so that's what I'm doing right here now the vi the, the green actual green screen I'm gonna grab that right here that's this video file right here now this is the video file but I don't start talking right here this is the camera that I'm trying to get in place right here so that's the green screen right there so then we're gonna make that come up right here and then you're going to put that over the top. That's going to be the, the top layer. And these pictures are the bottom layer right here. All right. I just took for granted that you're familiar with Movavi. Whatever you're working on is actually highlighted as yellow. So you got to watch it because if you try to edit something and everything's highlighted yellow, then you'll go ahead and edit everything. So make sure just the top layer that you're working on, the green screen video, make sure that's the only thing in yellow. And when you right click on it, is when you go up and it'll say edit is overlay. Also to the left of the box, if you can't find chroma key, to the left of the box you'll see the letter T, how you can put text in, then you go down to the designs of stickers, then you go down there's like a dot with three lines. Click on that and chroma key will be in there. Now I'm gonna try to trim this down so I wanna crop that because if you can see there's green screens right not all the way to the top. So I'm gonna cut that out right there. So that's good, that's cut out. And then from here we're gonna add a chroma key so we're going to apply that and then we're going to go down to add a chroma key here's the chroma key that's for the green screen okay now this is going to be the backgrounds and this is going to be the foreground right here so on my opacity i believe it is i'm going to get my opacity and that's the background that's the picture in the background all right i'm going to put my tolerance this is make the picture fade out a little bit actually and I don't want that you see the green coming around so I want more tolerance in there and if you could see some green here around my ear still that's because I'm too close to the green screen I'm standing too close to the green screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this for you right here three two one three two one three two one what's going on everybody Rob here Trev 2323 I don't know what I'm going to put in the background right here but you see I brought my green screen down from the attic I had my green screen up in the attic but believe it or not I want to get a wider one because when I shoot in high definition with my camera it goes this way and this way so I have to have this focused in a lot so you don't get a lot of the background so I want actually a wider background and I want to figure out how to do high definition where it stops going like this and like this. So I don't know about that. But right now we're going to look at the Movavi video software. So I'm going to open it up somewhere right here. And then we're going to go ahead and do a chroma key with green screen with this. Now I have my lights over here. If you follow me, I have my uh, studio lights over here. LEDs right here. And then LEDs right here also. So like if you stand further back. The closest you can to it, you see I start getting shadows in here. Okay, but if you stand further away, the lights right here kind of get rid of a lot of the shadows that are going to affect your green screen. So you do need kind of a lot of room. I bet you say I'm uh, maybe three or four feet from the green screen, and I have side lighting hitting me from right here to get the shadows. And the further back I go, the more shadow cast you get on the green screen. Now with the Mubari software, I'm going to talk to you about that. I just needed to get some footage in front of the green screen. Also, stay tuned for the videos because I have my 10-inch compound sliding miter saw that we're going to be unboxing. I got an external uh, DVD CD writer player that I'm going to plug into my Asus that I'm going to do an unboxing on that. And I bought some more Dragon software because my Moonlight version went up. Alright, so stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and share. Okay, so that's just my basics of chroma key and how I use the chroma key and put just pictures in the background, but I'm going to play around with it a little bit and start putting, trying to put video or put me in some other videos. So either way, stay tuned. Hopefully that gives you enough to crack open the nutshell and try to indulge in the rest of it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.